In today's tech tip, we're going to discuss setting up a seating die and using the taper crimp feature. We'll be using the custom grade new dimension set and you'll know it has the taper crimp feature on the label it will say taper crimp. The taper crimp is also found in our American series dies excluding the 38 and 357 caliber. Let's get started. Before we get started setting up this 9mm seating die with the taper crimp, it's important to note that the die has already been completely disassembled and degreased, which is a very important step when using any reloading die. Also, for the 9mm, it's important to properly bell your case before you seat the bullet. With a 9mm Luger, I like to bell the case so that the case mouth measures approximately .383 in diameter at the flare. The first step is to take your lock and load bushing and install it into the press. You will then take your seating die and set it up so that this crimp adjustment screw is approximately one quarter inch above this crimp adjustment lock ring. You will also set up your seating adjustment screw so that it's back significantly out of the die body. You'll thread it about a thread or two into the press. Lower your handle so that the handle is suspended down and the ram is at the top of the stroke. You begin threading the die body down on top of that empty case until resistance is felt. And that resistance is the crimp ring contacting the mouth of the case. So once we establish where that crimp ring is, you can see it's right there, we're going to secure the lock ring. With the lock ring properly secured, we're going to take this crimp adjustment screw and back it out approximately one half turn and leaving this crimp adjustment lock ring loose. At this point, we're ready to establish the bullet seating depth. Today, we're using a 147 grain XTP. So we'll seat it into the case and run that into the die. At this point, you take your bullet seater adjustment screw careful to hold the crimp adjustment screw and you'll thread it down until resistance is felt. And that resistance is the seating stem contacting the bullet. Simply lift your handle and lower your seating stem. With this particular bullet, I'm looking for a seating depth of 1.1 inches. Looks like we're getting pretty close here. Another minor adjustment to the depth. Perfect. This is the correct depth we're looking for, 1.1 inches. At this point, we've just established where the bullet seating depth is. Now this may seem counterintuitive, but at this point, take that bullet seating adjustment screw and back it out a solid three to four full complete revolutions. At this point, we're going to establish the crimp. I'm going to measure right at the case mouth with my calipers. Right now, it's measuring approximately 0.383. I want to give this cartridge about one thousandth of an inch worth of taper crimp. To establish that, run that into your die. Take the crimp adjustment screw and we'll thread it down until contact is felt and the crimp adjustment screw resists being threaded in. That's when the crimp ring is contacting the case mount. At this point, we'll lift, we'll lower an eighth of a turn, we'll run the handle down again. And I can feel that didn't crimp as much as I think we need to. So I'll come down just another eighth of a turn. And I'm looking for one thousandth of an inch less than our original measurement. And right there, that's .381. That's about two thousandths worth of crimp. That's more than sufficient. If I needed to back this out, I could, or at this point, simply leave it up in the die. I'll secure the crimp adjustment lock screw, and I'll thread this bullet seater adjustment screw down until I lightly feel the seating stem contact the bullet, and I will secure that lock ring. So now we have a cartridge seated to 1.1 inch and taper crimped two thousandths of an inch. Now your next set of components, case and bullet, will be successfully seated to the correct depth and taper crimped two thousandths of an inch.